Hey everyone, new space to hunt here. Um, actually, in my garage, I built some shelves and some storage in here. And uh, yeah, I think I'll start doing some coin roll hunting out here. I uh, started ripping this one. I'm about oh, 17 rolls in or so. This one actually weighed up north of 226. This was the first one to do so. It was 226.2 or so. Yeah, there you got it. I got to ripping. Didn't really think too much about it because that's not too unusual of a number for me, but there is a 40 percenter in here. Let's get it out and see what it is. 40, 1968D. All right, that's a silver on the board in the new digs. Back and we go. Hope there's some friends along the way. Kid you not, this is the immediate next roll. You remember seeing it on the scale there, 225.94. Got another silver in here. Along the right side, that darker edge. Let's take a look and see what we have. Another 40. 1967. Back-to-back -back silver. Two rolls back-to-back. -back. Let's see here. That was roll number 18 because we have 30 left right here. All right, back in we go. Let's go three for three. You would not believe me. This is the next roll. So anything close to 226 now, I'm going to start uh, thinking there's some silver inside because this one definitely did produce right off the point. can barely see it. Another 40. Isn't that awesome? 1967. A lot of toning and tarnish there on that coin, both sides of it. Beautiful, though. Actually, some pretty good luster left to it, all things considered. Three for three. Uh, that's awesome. What's this next one way up? Okay, I don't think there's anything in there, so not going four for four. But, hey, this is a good sign for what's left here in the final 30. Okay, so we skipped one. Uh, this is roll number 21. 225.83. I thought I was looking at that dark one there, and maybe I am. But uh, to the right, I believe there's a silver. Let's check that dark one first. Oh, heck yeah, we got double. 66. And right here, I believe, is another one. Oh, yeah. 1968. All right, I'm going to set up something a little more permanent here, and we'll rip some live. Hopefully that doesn't um, ruin the juju we've got going on with this. And let's find some friends inside here. A lot of new ones in here, 2022s and 23s. I've yet to see a 2024 in my area, really any denomination, not just the halves. Okay, 226, 25. This should be good, I would think. Not a given, but anything up this high has produced so far. Not this time, go figure. Oh well, yeah, don't win them all. Um, that is rule number 25. I haven't lost hope yet. That's the next roll. Roll 26, 226, 12. Yeah, we got one. It's right here on the left side. Let's pull it out and see what we got. Now it's on the right. Another 40. That is a 1967. Beautiful looking coin. All right, that's 26, 24 yet to go. Hey, that was only 25.79. Uh, this is roll number 30, 25.80. And where was it? There it is. We got it, 1966, another 40 percenter to the tally. This was sneaky. I didn't have any enders, um, nothing obvious lately that I've had a trend as far as picking up multiple silvers a box. I have had a couple of stragglers here or there, but nothing like this. This has been utterly amazing so far. Uh, this one, 225. We'll open it real quick. Nothing in here, but I'll bring you back in on that next find. I don't think we're done yet. My apologies, friends. Um, 
<laughs> I just deleted a clip and I forgot to hit record. So I got this one ripping before I found it. Uh, another silver. This is roll number 40. This is all I have left here. 225.31. That's pretty light in the grand scheme of things. Popping it off here on the right. So I haven't really dove into this, but you can almost instantly tell what's a 40 and what's a 90. Usually there's going to be a bit of a clad line in here. You can see that by the darker edge. Um, if it's a 90, usually it's pretty well solid all the way through. Sometimes even those solid ones can fool you though and end up being a 40, but this is easily a 40 percenter. 1968D. We've got to be climbing up to double digits here now. Uh, still nine rolls yet to get through. Maybe we can even pull a 90 percenter out of here. Holy cow. Look at that guy. Slick. Pocket coin. Has to be. Um, pocket coins where someone thought this was good luck charm or had some sentimental value. They reach in their pocket every now and again and thumb it. They'd rub their thumb on it and over time it wears down. Um, 84, I think, is the date on this. That's what I would say. Either way, it's been worn down to the nub. I'll keep it on the board as a miscellaneous find. Moving uh, through these kind of quick here tonight, I've given up on the variety search. It is a late night for me, so I don't want to spend too much time at it, but I have these sitting here and I'm expecting to pick up three more boxes tomorrow. Figured, got to get through them. There's the effort. Nine silvers, just missed double digits. Sneaky, sneaky box. I had zero indication that this would be as great as it was. No enders, didn't have the box to check uh, any inspection marks or anything like that, but lately silver's been trickling in one every now and again, but nothing like this. This is awesome. Nine silvers, all 40 percenters. We had a couple 66. We had seven 1967s, excuse me, four 1967s and three 1968s. Two Nifsies that were 2011 and a 2006. I mentioned it's late, folks, and then a pocket coin. Um, we take these nine silvers. I have the scale um, ready up here. We'll wait this out and see what it amounts to. And that brings us to 103 grams. And let's go to Troy Ounces here and see what this is. 3.3, take that times 40%. Oh, that's going to be about one and a third um, Troy Ounces of Silver. That's not bad for a night's work. Silver just rocketing up there now. So this is uh, about 450 each coin. So we're doing pretty darn good. Uh, I'll put the total weight of silver in the bottom and uh, the melt value that it would end up being today up on the screen right here. That's an awesome haul, everyone. I uh, do appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Uh, your support just helps drive me to continue to churn out content for you. Ring that bell. Give this video a like button so it's distributed to more and more people. Hope you like the new digs of where we're hunting. I think we'll be seeing a lot more here. It has much better lighting for the overall scenario that we're looking for. Um, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Just go ahead and drop it down there. Appreciate you watching. Stay healthy, stay safe. We'll catch you next time.